uh, it's a little quick thing I wanted to show you here today. Um, I was chatting with a friend last night who's got into using the Harrison Mixbus, Mixbus um, doll. And he was talking about how much he enjoyed having a, you know, a track come up with just an EQ on it and etc cetera, etc cetera, an EQ and a compressor and a way he could go, he didn't have to go in and put insert effects and as usual I said to him, well, you can do that in Reaper and he's like, can you? How'd you do that? And he didn't, he didn't know so I thought, well okay, if he doesn't know and he's been using Reaper for a few years maybe there's a few of you out there that don't know now as you can see here let me just close this up track templates um, with different effects with their controls included on the track panel. Now if we open up the mixer you can also have them here on the mixer so when you open up a track you can save it as a track template with whatever effect you've got on there. Open up the track and you've instantly got all of your controls for your EQ and compressor. If we double click on one of the controls it opens up whichever we got. We've got re-EQ here, here, we've got um, and the gem EQ 550 from Overload here um, and different different EQs in the slate stuff so there's the FGN and well, that's different compressors so then we've got FGS here so yeah just different things you can do um, let's go through the process quickly just one thing if you want these to show up in the track panel right click here in an empty space I'll open up the default you have to make sure down here that you've got show FX parameters when size permits ticked if you untick it they won't come up and I think by default it is unticked so make sure that one there is ticked and up they come okay so let's get into this let's create a new track and we'll add in an effect let's just add in uh, we'll put a mix track in and we'll do another, we'll do the uh, CSEQ here. Okay, now it's a really simple process. I like to start, uh, well you can start it whatever way you like. I've kind of tended to start with the low stuff working up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the high pass. So click on it, you can move it if you want, but clicking on it's good enough. And come up here to parameter and click on that and down here you can see it says show in track controls so we click that in and as you can see it's now appeared in the track control we can control it down here if we check the mixer now and there it is in the mixer okay so we've got the high pass there if we double click it we can open up our effect again and then we can carry on so if we go up to the, the low again I'm just going to click on that Parameter, show and track controls, click on the frequency, parameter, show and track controls. Now each of these I'm just clicking on them, I'll make it a little bit obvious I'll move them. So if we go to the gain here again, click on track parameter, show and track controls, the frequency, the low mids, show and track controls. Now you can see them appearing up here. So again if we do the gain, show and track controls, so this is our high mids now. Show and track controls and our high frequency. Click on that. Show and track controls and the, f the actual frequency selector itself. Show and track controls. Um, let's do our low pass now as the next one. Show and track controls. And what I also like to do with these slate ones is click on the on off button, click it on and back off, off and back on again, and show that and track controls. So now we can power that off. So if I open that up again, let's pin it, and I can power that on and off now. As you can see it goes off up here, like this, and it goes on. Okay? Now then, you know, you can pull in a compressor and do exactly the same thing again. And that's how you get these to show up in your track controls. Now, a little tip Right click down here, insert multiple tracks. I haven't found a way of inserting multiple tracks with a track template, as these will be if you save this as a track template. So what I've been doing is you can, uh, take. let's take this last one that you just did, and if we hit duplicate, so I've got it set as D, so if I just hit, keep hitting D, I do it in batches of five, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, okay, select all of them, 
and then right click and save track as template. Now what that will do is save all five tracks as template. So what I do is I save an individual one as a template and name it and then I save a batch of five so that if I want to insert multiple tracks of all of this, say within drums, I've got batches of five so okay maybe I want eight tracks, I have to insert it twice so that'll give me ten and then I have to delete two of the tracks, it's as simple as that. Okay so I mean you just click on that, save tracks as template, give it a name, let's just call it test multi, save it, okay, so if we now if we want to insert multiple tracks, right click down here, insert track from template, I've got a lot here, test multi, hit that and there we have another five tracks of what we just created. One of the last thing I tend to do with these though, which I didn't do with this new one we put in, so I select them all and let's go into the um, track layout, the mixer panel, I tend to save them as large and as you can see they're a little bit wider so you can see read the names a little bit easier etc etc it's up to you it depends what theme you're using you know but that's what I tend to do I'm using default Comala 5 here and that works well for me so just a little tip there hope you find it useful hope it helps you and I'll see you in the next one cheers folks bye